Welcome back. In this video, we're going to go ahead and configure the FTD device to send syslog data directly from the FTD device to Splunk. The reason for this is because in the FTD device, there's two engines. There's the underlying FT, uh, Lina engine, which has the ASA level code, um, does a lot of the la layer three, layer four uh, configurations. And then there's the top level Snort engine, which does the, the next-gen firewalling, the IPS stuff, things, you know, application detection. So when we configure the syslog uh, for the FTD device, it's going to send it from the Lin engine. So let's go ahead and go into Firepower really quickly. Actually, before we do that, let's go over to the apps inside of Splunk. What we're going to have to do is make sure that we have the add-on for Cisco ASA, since this is going to be sent just like an ASA would send to Splunk. So you make sure that you download that from the Splunk base and you know, install that first. Now inside of FTD, this is where we would configure this at. We would go to devices and then go to platform settings and create a uh, policy. I already have done it, but I'm going to go ahead and make sure I enable logging, send the syslogs in emblem format. If there's VPN configured, you can set, enable to have that sent. Um, I'm just going to put informational and have it sent to the FMC. Uh, logging destinations, I'm just going to filter it on uh, for syslog servers, we're going to send everything informational. And I'm not going to need a rate li uh, limit or e do an email setup. I'm going to enable timestamp on the syslog and the device ID. I'm going to just put that as the host name. Uh, for the syslog servers, let's go ahead and add Splunk. So I have already have an object created for Splunk, which is here. Uh, we're going to send it via TCP and in emblem format, UDP only, and we'll send it from the device management interface. I'll click OK and click Save and deploy that to our FTD device really quickly. So I'm going to pause the video just for like a minute or two while that deploys and then we'll come back here. And we're back and that's applied to the FTD device. So we're going to go ahead and configure a data input input. So go to add data monitor. And we're just going to do a UDP one ports 514. And since I set it for the management interface, it's going to, that's going to be the management interface that it's coming from uh, source type. We're going to do Cisco ASA and method IP and save. Let's go ahead and take a look, start searching for that data. So you can see here, we're starting to get data from that. So some of the information that will be shown in this dashboard uh, or in that syslog command, um, VPN information or the syslog coming in, VPN information, NAT teardowns, things like that. Um, so the next thing we're going to do is, um, so the Cisco Firepower Threat Defense FTD dashboard, we kind of looked at that briefly, but we, in the um, eStreamer video for Incore, but in this one, now that we've configured the syslog, we should be able to see more information here. So as you can see here, we see the, it coming and we can see allow, block, tear down. Um, so it's, that's from the, that's, this specifically here is from the, uh, is from the, uh, Cisco ASA syslogs from FTD. With that being said, um, you can also download the ASA app if you really want to see it through there, but you don't need to do that. That uh, Cisco Firepower FTD dashbo uh, dashboard kind of combines both. It it combines uh, some of the FTD events and the uh, and the ASA events, so it's kind of a neat thing to look at. So right now there's probably not a lot, a whole lot of data, but something to kind of take a look through. Um, with that, I'm going to go ahead and end this video.